Hey guys, before we get started in this video, please hit that button right there. Hey, what's up YouTube? So today's gonna be a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna be just talking about myself, doing a Q and A, and um, yeah, I had some uh, questions asked on my Instagram and on my uh, Twitter. So I'm gonna answer those questions today, and uh, yeah, you guys will get to know me a little bit better. So let's get to it. So the first question is, what are your hobbies? So my hobbies, I got a few of them. You know, I like I like going on social media, Twitter. Um, I like to be on Instagram. Um, if you haven't seen me already, I like I like to be on TikTok. I like to make funny TikTok videos, so you can check that out too. I'll put all my social media on the side there. But um, also, I like to read. I like to write. I like to rap. Um, I'm not very good, but you know, it's something I like to do. And um, I do like drawing a little bit. Um, I'm getting better at it uh, with this whole quarantine thing going on. I just started drawing a little bit more, so it is pretty cool um yeah that's probably about it for hobbies number two why did you start playing soccer so i started playing soccer in 2010 so i'd say what 10 years ago quick maths <laughs> but um yeah i started playing in 2010 i used to play hockey before i loved hockey i was a hockey fan favorite team is the calgary flames hometown that's where i'm from so yeah um, soccer for me, you know, I always used to play it like out in the summer with my brothers, kick the ball around and stuff. And um, I seen like a little flyer uh, out one day in the front of my house and they had like a uh, youth camps or like a rec league or whatever. And I went and I just absolutely smashed it. And I was like, you know what? Like, I think I'm gonna convert. So I started playing soccer and it's been a wild journey, lots of ups and downs, but you know, I love the game. I love everything about the game. I could just play for hours, you know, um, even growing up and stuff, playing on academies and, and uh, men's leagues and youths, uh, youth leagues and stuff. It was tough. I wasn't always like uh, the player that always got to play and stuff like that. I was always like on the bench and it was tough playing at lower levels. And I always wanted to be at the top level. But, you know, I just kept playing because I love the game so much. Um, I got really good at it. And here I am now, Division One athlete at the University of Texas. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, that's why I started playing. I have a deep passion for the game. I wanna go pro, I will go pro. And yeah, soccer is just it's part of my life. It's the only thing that, you know, that will never truly like let me down, I feel. So yeah, soccer is the one. Question number three, do you have any friends or family that currently play pro? So I do actually, uh, my younger brother played for the Calgary, uh, Calgary FC, and that's like the new CPL league that was uh, open in 2019. He played in the inaugural season. Um, he was one of the youngsters there, so that was really, really good for him. Super proud, and you know, it's uh, it's it's something really good for the family, seeing that you know your boys are taking off and trying to do something really special with their lives. So he's just uh, going through that right now, but with the whole quarantine, um, I'm not sure how things are looking for this season. So I don't know what his position is right now. But um, yeah, uh, he did play in the 2019 season. So it is it's exciting. Um, also, I got a few friends, Joel Waterman. He was in one of my other videos. If you go down the difference between the MLS and the CPL. So he was in that video. He did a little feature for me and he talked about his journey and how he came about it. So there's him. I got a few other friends as well that also played. And um, yeah, you know, um, I feel like I'm around. I'm around a lot of people that you know, share the same dream or have the same dream as I do. And it's good. It's good to have people like this around you because, you know, it keeps you, keeps you driven, it keeps you disciplined, and it keeps you determined. So, yeah, uh, I'm happy that I have these people around me. And, yeah, that's it. So, question number four. Um, have you ever had any pro offers? So, you know, the, um, the Calvary FC team, the team my younger brother is um, currently on, uh, I was with them, I was training with them, obviously, and it was the inaugural season, so it was the first season of the entire Canadian Premier League. And 
I had the, this is the same time I got the offer to go to Texas on a full ride scholarship, you know, and play there. And I only had two years of school left. So, you know, I made a promise to my parents that I would finish my school. I would get my degree. And then, you know, I'd focus on my dream after. So um, I decided to come here and I decided to, you know, change it up a little bit and be in a different environment. And it was all, it was all, for, you know, it's for my mom and for my dad. And, you know, I want to be the first in my family to get, you know, like a proper degree, especially in, in the United States. Um, it's a dream that they have and, you know, they couldn't fulfill. So I'm going to fulfill it for them. So, yeah, I know my time will come. You know, it's just a matter of time. You know, I've, I've been with talks with some teams, you know. Um, I'm sure that uh, my my contract will come when I'm finished my uh, school. But, you know, it's just all hard work for me. It's staying determined, driven and disciplined. And those are my three Ds. Question number five. So why did you start YouTube? So YouTube for me, um, it was something that, you know, I always loved watching young, when I was young growing up. I loved the app, I've always had it. And I've watched millions of videos on there probably. But you know, it's always been a thought that was in my head. You know, maybe I can make some videos and stuff. But I never really actually started until I seen, you know, a couple of my friends making videos. Um, Joe Rabini TV, you guys probably know him. Uh, progressive soccer dylan Tubi, the soccer essentials his channel you guys probably know him he's pretty big and you know i've been around these people so much and i just wanted to start myself so i decided this is the time to start maybe it was a bit too late but you know it's never too late to start so i'm really enjoying it um it's very very fun uh i'm excited to just keep throwing out content to you guys and anything you guys need or anything you guys want you guys can always let me know I'm always ready for it. And yeah, it's just it's a fun app. And uh, hopefully I can just keep growing as long as you guys keep subscribing and liking. So yeah. So question number six. So how has the quarantine been for you? Um, the quarantine has been, it's been actually pretty good. You know, it is quite lonely, quiet. You got to stay home all the time. Um, I'm not at home with my family because I'm staying nearby to Texas because I got to go back to Texas and I got to go do some stuff. I got to go train with some teams and yeah, but other than that, it's, it's been good. I've been staying fit. That's one thing I've been really focusing on myself, staying fit, staying healthy, you know, and getting stronger. Um, I feel like this is a good time for people to just really focus on themselves, understand themselves, you know, stick to their own thoughts and, you know, like not take things for granted, understand that this is a, a world crisis, probably our first world crisis that we've been through, a lot of us. And, um, you know, we're going to get through it together as long as we stay together and we listen to each other. But yeah, the quarantine has been pretty good for me. Um, I'm excited to get back. I'm excited to start playing again. And I'm excited to just excited to start scoring some goals, really. So, yeah. So, guys, that's it for the Q&A. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. If you did, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It'll help me out so much. And, um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. I'm going to be hitting you with some more content on tomorrow. So, peace out. Stay determined, driven, and disciplined, guys. Peace.